Hi, uh, my name is James Tamishi from Clever Touch, and I want to show you our Clever Touch interactive flat panel, our UX Pro. Now, our UX Pro is an enterprise grade panel because it's built for businesses, and the ethos behind the build is ease of use. So, essentially, we want you to be able to walk up to the panel. Uh, have a look at it, it's not daunting, and realise this is easy to use and obviously your user experience being easy to. Let me talk you through the build of the panel real quickly. I've got a 65 inch screen here uh, and this is uh, and this is a 20 point touch screen. It's a really nice looking screen as well, so essentially the bezel is really slim and uh, we've put inbuilt array microphones uh, in the panel. So again, that gives you that easy, I have a mic uh, on the panel attitude where which you can literally just start a video conference call uh, and have that microphone at hand. Uh, in addition to that microphone, we fit a soundbar in here as well, and that's part of the solution as well. So essentially, I'm not talking just speakers, I'm talking a soundbar. Okay, so that, that gives a that nice room filling sound for small to medium sized meeting spaces. Um, we've carried on with your legendary type of connection inputs in terms of connectivity, I'm talking about VGAs, and we've sort of just moved on with the standard USBs and we've added some extras as well. So these, or this panel behind me, has got USB-C connectors as well, or connections as well. Uh, so again, that's able to charge your device and that gives you a plethora of connectivity options in terms of connecting your device to it. Now, uh, in terms of your writing experience, you notice I'm just picking up a stylus uh, from the bottom bezel of the panel. Um, this is a passive stylus, which is magnetic, so essentially it's, I can just stick it to the panel when I'm not using it. And that, again, saves me from losing this, and, you know, and that's quite a common thing when people lose a pen or, or a writing object. But that gives you, again, that easy access and easy put down, and because it's passive, you can write really nicely. Uh, without the fear of pressing a button uh, on, on the pen whilst you're using it. And we also have a proximity sensor. Now that negates the need of users physically having to turn on the panel because it senses you're close and it turns on and it senses when you're away from the panel over 10 feet and it automatically turns off. Uh, we've gone the extra mile to make the NFC card readers uh, an option, available option as well, where which uh, you, for example, have a receptionist write a profile for guests on a card, pre that guest coming in, they can literally just uh, scan that card, load up that profile, where it's the guest can just walk up to the screen with a loaded profile on and just have that nice seamless meeting space experience as well. Let's talk to you about that. we branding this for your meeting space. Now, this says Clever Touch, but it can be rebranded, click on it three times, and it gives you the ability to swap that for an image which could be a logo, or you can literally just free type uh, and give your meeting space that personalized feel, that essentially name, okay? Now, you would have noticed as well that I'm clicking using my stylus. Now, in that post-COVID world, uh, where people, uh, some people are less confident than others uh, in terms of their touch and them willing to touch stuff, uh, because of the IR technology we have in this, you have the ability to not just touch with your fingers, but you can literally click away using a stylus, as well as wearing gloves. So you may well have users who are really vulnerable and that they rather wear gloves, and this allows you to have that fluency in terms of their touch experience wearing gloves. Uh, a big fact about Clever Touch, uh, we have the lowest failure rate in the market as well in terms of our interactive flat panels. Um, less than 0.5%, so they're built to last. And everything you get from us is covered by a five-year warranty because they're really rigidly built. Okay, so let's talk about the user experience. Okay, so you've got the status tab on here. That enables you to connect this panel to your network. You've got the connect tab and that shows you the two operating systems that you can have on the panel. Now this panel in itself comes uh, with an Android session backbone which we've taken apart, we put back together to give that fluency in your experience. But you have the option to uh, slot in a PC because I've got a Windows 10 PC slotted in and uh, you have that option uh, to carry that along as well. And because the PCs can be completely scalable, you're not fixed in having to use a PC that comes with a panel. So if you need a really quick responsive PC, it can be bespoke to your requirements as well. 
Okay. Now looking at this field alongside the PC mode and the tablet mode, which we call Lux, you have a lot of input showing on here. Now everything on this field can be renamed and you can hide uh, uh, inputs that you don't use as well again, which can really help uh, from a, this is what I use standpoint and I don't want to see anything else. Now the third tab on here is your present tab. Now for your in-room meeting space experience, you're probably going to use this tab the most. Now the first thing I want to talk about this tab is our club message. Now that's a signage uh, application that we offer completely free of charge with our solution. Now you notice this is branded to Clavitouch, but it can be easily changed to be branded as your business. And essentially what we've done is made this a cloud-based application. So literally you can access the portal from anywhere in the world and it's templated as well. So essentially it gives you that option to find a template that you like, replace pictures for pictures, replace videos for videos, and literally you're up and running in no time. Now, in terms of all the other applications on here, you're probably going to use the files whiteboard and browser the most. So let's have a look at your files section. Now, I've just clicked into a file section, and obviously, what you see that's familiar, you see a ton of files on here on the internal storage of this device. And you also see on here that I have a USB connected in, and I have access to all of my USB content as well as access to my cloud drives. Now, one thing we're hearing. Uh, is that people want to have information accessible from different locations because you have people working much more fluidly in terms of sometimes at home, sometimes in the office. And the access we give on here to your OneDrive as well as your Google Drive actually gives you that to carry my data about with me wherever I go. And I just click into my OneDrive account on there and you see the fluidity and the response. I have my content available. You can also connect multiple screens together if you want to. So let's open a PowerPoint presentation. So I've clicked on my PowerPoint presentation. So literally, as opposed to touching the screen, I could if I wanted to, or I could use a pedal glove, so I could literally just swipe my way across. And I am presenting my familiar PowerPoint presentation. Okay, so if, for example, I was talking at a meeting and I needed to address something or mark something up or something that was relevant to my meeting participants, I needed to actually elaborate on it. I have a floating toolbar on here that goes with me everywhere on my panel uh, outside of the homepage. I literally just click on that and click on the pen icon and that makes a pen available so I can literally begin to mark this up, for example, and say actually that is an education show and I want it moved. Okay. Now the nice thing about this is I've marked up one page or two or three pages. If I wanted to share the content that I've marked up with my meeting participants, I don't have to email a 50 page PowerPoint presentation. I can segregate this page, save just this page, or create a QR code where which my in-room Participants can scan that code and have just that segregated or segmented page available on a web browser and they can download that information. So again, from an accessibility standpoint, this is absolutely brilliant. So let's click on our floating toolbar. That also takes us to our home page if we need to go to our home page. So I'll click on the home icon and that takes me to my home page. Let's look at our whiteboard. Okay. Now I've clicked into a whiteboard and all of a sudden you notice it's a light blue board because um, the background can be changed to really whatever colour or background you wanted it to be. So let's talk about what you're seeing um, at this point. Yeah, first thing I'm going to do is talk about uh, my inking tool on here. A really nice thing about this is I can assign two different colours. So I can assign a colour to my pen, like the touch. And I've assigned a different colour, the red, to my finger. And the nice thing about this as well is I can decide actually how thick I want my writing to be on here. So if that was thin, I could actually say, let's draw a second line that's a little bit thicker because I want my writing to be thicker. And what that gives me the opportunity to do is actually identify when two people are collaborating, you can assign different colors so you can essentially know who's doing what. Uh, in terms of 
more functionalities. You have a handwriting recognition tool, which proves very handy and really saves uh, a, a, you know, a note taker from having to free type uh, out all of the notes um, after the meeting's done. So I'm going to write on here the meeting, and you see that's converted that to text. And it gives me that fluidity now to scale that text up, reduce the size of that text if I wanted to, or move the text about. You also have a max tool on here, which again negates the need uh, and gives that ease of use when it comes to quick sums. But you have a head of finance or a head of sales uh, just throwing about figures, talking about numbers, and for example, uh, a business talking about their, their daily sales. Okay, uh, today uh, we did four thousand pounds. Yesterday we did two thousand pounds. What we need is and that automatically just converts that to text and produces a question mark away, which if I click on that, it works out the sums for me. And that could be really clever if you were going to use square roots and your quotients, it could actually work out really clever sums as well. Another really nice thing about this is you've got shape recognition as well. So for people who are in process management or want to be a bit more graphic in terms of their growth, put an arrow on there, go to our process management tool, change that to a triangle, and you see we can actually begin to group content as we see fit. And I can move that from there and there, and we see we can group our content. Okay? Now, there's a hand button on here as well, click on that hand, and that converts this board into an unending board space, infinite board space. Okay? Now, literally, if all of that page is full, I can literally Move all of that stuff to the left and I keep writing some information on there. Move that stuff to the far left and that's continued. And if I get to a point where I think actually there's some information that I need to re access, uh, and that's actually my full board. Now I can literally just double click on that hand and get a radar view right there and locate on my infinite whiteboard or my board space, in this case, a whiteboard board, where I'm trying to go back to when that takes me right back to that space. Now this also has uh, a paint tool for much more illustrative uh, uh, sessions, which I'm not going to go into in much detail. Uh, in addition to that, uh, this has um, an undo button in case the game is now. You end the meeting, pressing the end meeting button, by mistake you can undo that as well. Okay. Now another nice thing about content and page management on here is, uh, to the far right on here, we have a list of our pages, and I can add multiple pages if I need two. That's page two. And another page, that's page three. And if I clicked on the actual page number on there, it opens up all of my pages on the far right, and I can actually have that visibility in terms of seeing my pages whilst I work on the main page. Okay, now I'll go to the icons on the far left on here. Now that gives me the ability, if I wanted to, to change my background, as well as to open new whiteboarding document, to save whiteboarding document, or to create a brand new whiteboarding document, as well as export and import uh, content. But I can also, like I said, change my background. So if I wanted, for example, one page exclusively to be uh, white, or say gridded, okay, because the content on that page was much more, uh, I needed a much more segmented. I can literally grid that one page and change the background of that one page, giving me that freedom to actually be really creative in terms of my page management and my content management per page. Okay? Now, another nice thing about this is all of my content on the whiteboard, and I can, after a session, by clicking on the send email button, email all of that content to all of the meeting participants. Now, that saves uh, meeting attendees from physically having to take out their phones, uh, to take pictures of the screen, or essentially not be able to carry those the contents of the meeting away with them. Okay. Now, in addition to this, there's a QR code option which enables users up on the same network scan the code and they have immediate access to all of the content of the meeting. Now, that's the whiteboard. Click on the home page. Uh, another feature on here that would be what we use would be a browser. Click on the browser, and that's a standard browser. Okay, take me to Google. And if I went to a much more specific website, clap touch.com, 
Chrome, well, into that website, you see it works just like any other browser would. Now, what I can now do with my Clever Touch panel is, if I was in a marketing team, for example, and we're working on some content on the website, I can now open up my floating toolbar. If I needed to, snip a portion of the website, or let's just snip the whole page, move that content to my whiteboard, and then that gives me the flexibility to actually begin to work on the content with people in the room being able to see that content as well as sharing the experience and contributing to us so we get true collaboration. Okay, so for example, I could say, just for the sake of it, this logo on here needs to be a bit more central, and then I can, of course, brainstorm around the content of this and have people in room join in that session. We also have the ability to mirror our screen if we wanted to, and that application that mirrors the screen back is completely free of charge and it's downloadable uh, on a PC, a mobile phone or, or a tablet. So I'm just going to grab a PC and just show you how the mirroring works. Um, the app's called Clevershare and again it's easily accessible. All I do is type that code in, the six digit code. In this case it's 098616. Uh, that automatically connects. Um, and I have the option to start mirroring. Click on mirror and the content of my laptop is automatically shared to the screen and if I want to stop mirroring there's a bold blue icon on here that says stop mirroring and I can click on that and stop mirroring my content. So the mirroring feature would work uh, for meeting participants in the same or on the same network as the host of the meeting using the UX Pro or on a subnet. Next I'll show you my settings which is essentially in my app section, click into my app section, go into my settings and all of the options on there are nicely listed out. I spoke about input changing or renaming initially, it's as simple as clicking into the input and toggle that on, the alias, uh, the input alias switch and you have the ability to free type a name on there. Uh, to hide your options as well, you literally just click on hide or display and that does the exact same for you. Uh, another nice thing about this is you can, you can decide what mode you wanted this to start up on. So if you were mainly a, a PC side you, a house because you use this mainly for your PC side, you can actually say upon startup I want you to go to the PC side or I want you to essentially start up on the Android or tablet mode. And you can also from a security standpoint actually tick everything you wanted erased or deleted from the panel when it's turned off. Okay, so you can suggest actually I want every video, every music, uh, all of the browsing history to be deleted uh, as soon as the meeting's ended. And you can also determine when, uh, if you wanted to set timers, essentially the screen to come on at say 9 in the morning and shut down at 6 p.m. You can set start up and shut down time scale. So essentially that's really nice again for a green or energy saving environment and you know that when this starts up, for example, at 9 in the morning, um, your signage starts playing and that stays on till the meeting is ready to start. And in addition to that as well, we offer all of this manageable remotely. So it's an MDM where which your IT managers could literally log on remotely and manage, send updates to screens, uh, change settings, load applications, all of it can be done remotely. Uh, and all of the firmware updates are all over the air, so it's essentially free of charge as well. If you need any more information regarding what we offer, uh, don't hesitate to contact me at james.tanishi at clevertouch.co.uk and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.